नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी जैन करंटली वर्किंग एज अ कंसल्टेंट साइकाइट्रिस्ट एट अमृता हॉस्पिटल्स फरीदाबाद टुडे लेट्स टॉक बिट अबाउट एनजाइटी एनजाइटी इज एक्सट्रीमली कॉमन इन एवरी वंस लाइफ टूडे एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज द ट्रीटमेंट इज ऑफन नॉट रिक्वायर्ड Sometimes it is also seen that it can be dealt with very simple measures or um, simple lifestyle changes that we can make very easily. But if we are suffering from any illness that is anxiety related, such as generalized anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, or uh, panic disorders, agoraphobia, etc., or an illness where anxiety forms a significant part of the illness, such as post-traumatic stress disorder. BPD or obsessive compulsive disorders treatment of anxiety becomes a must in such cases if the treatment is not provided adequately or at adequate time it can lead to disastrous impact it can significantly impact a person's social life personal life it can impact the workplace abilities leading to financial constraints in children it can lead to academic decline and in many cases it can also lead to physical abnormalities or physical disorders such as diabetes hypertension thyroid abnormality cardiac abnormalities and heart attack etc so in an era like today where stress is extremely common in day to day life let's learn a bit about anxiety how to identify and when to reach a therapist or a mental health professional to understand we can divide anxiety into psychological physical and behavioral symptoms understanding psychological symptoms of anxiety if a person is anxious the person will have nervousness restlessness a person will always like thinking about something and will have inability to control the worry there will be a feeling of impending doom a feeling of something that might go wrong and it goes like every single second in a day other symptoms include negative thoughts easy irritability and anger outbursts anxiety can also lead to lack of attention and concentration that can impact a child's academic grades and a person's work abilities physical symptoms can impact a person with anxiety significantly it can lead to symptoms like heaviness of the head migraine attacks difficulty in attention and concentration it can lead to a dryness of throat it can lead to hyperventilation chest pain palpitations and significantly high gi issues such as acidity heartburn uh, frequent urination or a frequent defecation it can lead to constipation in females it can also lead to menstrual irregularities body ache feeling of tingling and numbness are also seen very commonly in anxiety symptoms so if you are suffering from any of these symptoms and are not able to control them it is time to meet a mental health professional or a therapist one must also understand that in children anxiety symptoms are also very prevalent and as compared to the social beliefs that children do not suffer from anxiety kids do suffer from anxiety but they do not present with symptoms as adults do kids can present with academic decline um refusing to go to school stomach ache repeated urination like in every 10 minutes so if a child is suffering from these symptoms anxiety anxiety disorder should be assessed for and you should present your child to a mental health professional one must think that once reaching to a therapist how anxiety symptoms are controlled so the treatment of anxiety disorder are often with pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy